I want to thank everybody for attending this morning. You know, I like that show that Donald Trump did, like, You're Fired, ain't that the name of it? You know, I just saw something, and I don't follow Donald Trump like that. I just happened to see this, and the universe said, maybe you should click on that. So I clicked on it and everything, and I kind of briefly read over it. I wonder why Fred would do that. His name is Fred, right? Made me think about, like, at this critical, crucial time where he said this at, I was shocked. I was taken back. I was like, is that what they're, they're doing? But, I, but I'm really not surprised. I'm shocked, but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. It don't surprise me one bit what I just saw. Who was he talking to, Fred? Is his name Frederick is just, or is it just Fred, you know? And, y'all, I was just having fun with the Fred Flintstone remark. Okay, I want to know who this is right here. I'm just curious. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check something out right quick, and it don't take me long to check something out. Oh, it won't even let me. Oh, there it goes. I just want to check something out. I'm just curious to know if this is like a blogger or something. You know, I have to check and see if somebody is a blogger, because that changes the whole trajectory of of like everything. You know. Um, okay, who is, who, I'm trying, oh, they're on, uh, they're on this? Let me see, who is this? Who is this right here? I just want to see, oh, they're in Wikipedia? They must be important. Let me take a look and see. I'm going to tell y'all who this is after I can get to the bottom of this. Oh, that's who that is. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen it before. The picture, <laughs> I mean, to me, the picture, now, don't, I ain't even going to try to pronounce that name. And, y'all, it ain't many names that I can't pronounce. I think this is one of them. Uh, but apparently, oh, an attorney, okay, uh, a comedian and journalist, okay. Well, maybe it was a joke. Maybe it was a joke. Um, he's on Sirius. And isn't that the same place that other guy was? What was his name? The one that talked about those black basketball players. <laughs> the one that talked about those black basketball players' hair, hair that year. I think it was, I think that was before I had even, either that was right when I first got on. Howard Stern. Yeah. Um... But they have to be, you know, over the top like that. You know, I don't think he meant anything by that when he said that. But he just kind of like me. He said the first thing that come to his head. But let's see, let's see about this guy. Okay, his name is uh, Dean Abdallah. And I think I said that right. Abdallah. Abdallah. And I think that maybe is from another country. I think. Sounds like. What does it say? Oh, New Jersey. Okay. Um, Paramus. I never heard of that. But I just want to see what what is it that he's doing. Oh, he have an award? Named in honor of... Oh, he received an award. Wow. Thought-provoking comedy. Maybe it was just a joke. You know, I wonder what Donald Trump has to say about it. And I guess, y'all, is it okay to say his name? I mean, he's right there, right? Uh, and then that's his nephew, his nephew Fred. For the people that don't know, right? Now, I don't know if Fred has this. Let me see if he has it. Let me take a look. So he kept a low profile until now. He took this opportunity with Abdela to say that Donald Trump may be suffering from dementia. <laughs> dementia? I mean, why, why would he do that? Um, it says here, and y'all, I'm, I'm quoting from the Econo Times, right? And I've never been over here. But I'm quoting from, excuse me, the Econo Times. It says Fred Trump III, okay? Excuse me. 
who has generally kept a low profile. And I wonder how does he look? Um, excuse me, y'all, for um, pausing. Uh, made these comments during an interview on the Dean Ab Abdallah show. When asked directly about any similarities between his uncle's current behavior and the dementia that plagued their grandfather. Well, you know what? That's a lot to even come up with a question like that. I believe they already knew that that question would be asked. I think that's why he was there, Fred, because he kept a low profile, right? And then who asked a question like that? Think about the question. <clears throat> Think about the question. Any similarities between Donald Trump's current behavior and the dementia, okay, that plagued their grandfather? It's just weird. It's just weird. That's, you know, that's a question. And he, I guess he was happy to answer that, right? He didn't hesitate, right? <laughs> so, yeah, he meant to spark up some things. I think Donald Trump have enough money to buy and sell Fred. I really do. I don't know anything about Fred. I don't know these people, y'all. I mean, I don't know Donald Trump. I know, um... You know, Nene Leakes, uh, I mean, has made reference to Donald Trump. Uh, I don't know, you know, if she's claiming part of his fortune. Uh, I think at that point, did she start calling herself a millionaire at that point? Or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. But she changed then. And then I remember how she left that show, too. I remember how she left that show. She was going to jump on Star. I remember that. Y'all remember Star? Sweet little Star, right? The way she was hovering over her. <laughs> she was hovering over her like the Empire State Building, right? I, I mean, I was scared for her. I was scared for Star. Star stood her ground. I mean, you know, she didn't move. <laughs> I remember that. I just thought about that. Oh my gosh. What what got into Nene? The way she did star. I wonder if that's I wonder if I can I wonder if I can uh is that anywhere? Wow, I'm glad I did do this. I remember that. That was on Donald Trump's show. Star Jones. Mm. I remember that. Who remembers Star Jones? Didn't she have her own show? You know, everybody forgot all about Star Jones. They just went straight to um, Wendy Williams. But Star Jones had a very, very significant role. In, um, as a matter of fact, let me just see who is Star Jones. <laughs> I need to see who is Star Jones. Here it is right here, y'all. I found something about this, right? Okay, somebody is 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 uh, dishing the daily on that, but I want to actually see it. Okay, and, and seeing they're worried about stuff. I'm not really worried about that. Yeah, The Apprentice. The Apprentice. Um... So she talks about it, but I want to see the video. I have forgotten all about that. There it is right here. Here it is right here. Star, yeah, Star handled that very well. That didn't last but how many seconds is that? That didn't last but 10. It had to be more than that. But before I get into that, y'all, I, I, I would like to know who is Star Jones. I remember her. But I remember her when she was heavier. You know, she was a lot much heavier than she was when she was on uh, on The Apprentice. I remember her when she was a she was a heavy a heavy girl. And I'm not taking shots at any of the heavy girls out there, but I'm just saying, you know. Okay, Star Jones. I'm sure she's in Wikipedia. Uh, and then it was something about her husband and everything. I just want to sell, you know, this is the way that I, oh, she is in, she is, and she's in IMDb too? 
What movie was she in? She looks good, though. But I just never trusted Star Jones. Her name's Starlet. Maria Jones Lugo, okay? Known, better known as Star Jones with one R. Um, oh, yeah, an attorney. Journalist, television personality, fashion designer, author, women's and diversity advocate. So, yes, yeah, she has, she has uh, laid many foundations. She's best known as one of the first co-hosts on the ABC morning talk show, The View. That's where she was from, The View? I remember that now. Yeah, she was going head-to-head -head with Barbara Walters on that show. <laughs> I remember that. I didn't really watch The View, though. Uh, for nine seasons, yeah. 1997 through 1998 through 2005. So, they, I don't know, something must have happened those first two years. Then they 2005 to 2006. So, I don't get that. That, is, that doesn't add up to, uh, to nine, nine years. She was also one of the uh, 16 contestants of the fourth installment of the celebrity of the celebrity apprentice. Okay, it's the celebrity apprentice. In 2011, uh, she was in fifth place. Okay, uh, and she serves as the host of Divorce Court. I didn't know she was on Divorce Court. Isn't she divorced though? I thought maybe I don't know. Y'all don't hold me to it. I'm just kind of like rambling. Okay, this is a very, what is, I mean, like, what what word can I say to protect myself on here? This is just like, uh, how about this is just like, you know, like maybe a comedy skit? How about that? Uh, but anyway, I'm just curious. I thought she had her own show at one time before, the, before that. Maybe she never did. Maybe she never did. Here it is right here. And it says here, I knew she had her own show. Okay, according to this, according to Wikipedia, how did I get on Star Jones, y'all? Um, she was a prosecutor with the Kings County District Attorney's Office in Brooklyn, New York. Wow. Wow. Uh, in 1992, she was elevated to senior assistant district attorney. Wow. That's impressive. She was recruited by Court TV in 1991 as a commentator for the William Kennedy Smith trial. And I won't say what kind of trial that was. I don't know if you can say that on here. And she spent several years as a legal correspondent for NBC's Today and NBC's Nightly News. Okay. But in 1994, she was given her own show, her own court show, Jones and Jury, which mimicked the arbitration-based reality format of the People's Court. Okay. Though with a blended talk show like set and style. Uh, I don't know if I ever saw that. Anyway, I saw her somewhere. Now, I want to see here where it says where Nene Leeds was like hovering over her. I'm thinking this is it, probably. Yeah, I'm going to play this. I'm not going to say the channel that I'm playing it on, but it's on YouTube. But I felt bad for her. But wasn't she plotting and scheming on John. Nene? Here it okay. is. Ladies, who is going to be your project manager? Okay, I want to claim copyright disclaimer, fair use for educational purposes. I don't know if you have to do that on here or not. Uh, entertainment, uh, commentary, um, research, opinion, you know, things of that nature. News. Because this is news. goes back to Donald Trump, right? Now we're talking about the celebrity. Starlet's really good there. Start that and she is an attorney. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to play it. Jake manager. 
Star thinks that I should be, so why don't I Was be? that your choice, Nina? You wanted to do it? This morning, Star said, why don't you be the project oh, manager? Well, that was and very said, generous of Star. Why don't I write? It's not strategic, <laughs> but I get it. <laughs> well, she could have said no. Right? Now, do you think she had good intentions, Nene, or bad intentions? Bad intentions. Bad. Oh, okay. Trying to be strategic and trying to throw me out of the bus with her, but it's... Oh my gosh, I have forgotten all about this. It's only three minutes and 33 seconds, y'all. Wait, wait a minute, let me do this. What is wrong with me? Let me do this. And also, let me do this right here, okay? I'm just giving a little opinion and commentary over it. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm adding value to this, okay? What you see there is uh, Lil John and uh, two other guys back there. John. Okay, ladies, who is going to be your project manager? Star thinks that I should be it, so why don't I Was be? that your choice, Nene? You wanted to do it? This morning, Star said, why don't you be the project oh, manager? Well, that was and very I said, generous of why Star. don't I write? It's all strategic, I, but I get it. Now, do you think she had good intentions, Nene, or bad intentions? Bad intentions. Bad. Trying to be strategic and trying to throw me under the bus with her, but it's all good. It's going down. Every single time we've gotten to pick a new project manager, she every day comes up with who should be the next project manager. Who the f made you in charge of project managers? And so I really had had it. I'm sorry that she thought my intentions were negative. Everyone here had won money for their charity, and I thought that maybe this would be the opportunity for Nini to win some money for her charity. You didn't say that, and you didn't think but that. You, you did you not think that. that. You can I say what I didn't say. say. No, I now look at the way she, uh, yeah, Nene really kind of got a little too, um, you know. How you think? Yes, I do. I know her. And she's, and so Star, Star was trying to talk to her. And, um, because the body language, okay. You say that, and you didn't think but that. You, you did you not think that. You find it. Now she starts trying to explain herself, and she just has her hands, you know, right there, but they're not out. And then, and then Nini kind of like approaches her like closer. And so at that point, Star just folds her arms, and then she just turns straight ahead. I know how you think. I know how you play the game. And she's putting her finger all in her face. And she's pointing at her forehead. Star takes a step back. And she takes another step back. And another step back. And another step back. You're playing with the right one. This is not the And now she walks completely on the other side. That's after Nene did the thing with her neck. Y'all know the black woman neck thing. I don't know if they do it from side to side or if it's like front to back but let's take a look at that because i want to get that part right yeah, you're playing with the right one this is yeah when her head started like bobbing like that <laughs> so start with on the other side and she has and that's and that's a pretty leather uh thing she has so she has her arms folded the whole time nimi is still talking to her and she's went you know, completely like on the other side of, like, you know, away from her. Who are you to step in and tell somebody when to be project manager? I Who didn't, are you? I did not Who tell you. Are to you? Be. I will take you down. Wow, Donald is looking. While the rest of these girls will look at you and be scared. And so Star has her uh, arms folded. Um, I'm the girl that's not scared of you. And so... You press the last button at me, Miss Star Jones, and I... Okay, now Star's looking straight ahead. Well, do you... And she's probably thinking, okay, yeah, let me, you know, flip into litigation mode. And the rest of these girls won't. This is your puppet, and I'm not. Wow. Wow. And so she said, all Star said was wow. I mean, listen. 
I mean, Nene is on a thousand. Wow. Wow. I mean, and then Donald says, well, too. Let me see. Nene went from zero to a thousand. Wow. 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 Want to move on this side. Okay. Uh, now she's going over there where Star Jones is. Y'all, uh-uh. That was very, very amazing. And now she's hovering right over her. She's got her hand on her hip. It's almost like she's ready to jump on her. That's too much. Star is... So, so the rest of the girls moved down farther away from uh, all of that. And so now Star is moving down farther too, away from Nini. And Nini is following her, taking step by step right after her. Donald not going to say nothing? I actually want to move on this side. Okay. That was very, very unnecessary. Right. Where did this start? It actually has been starting from the beginning. I'm going to start with her boot, all the stuff you've tried to do to manipulate the girls that are here. And I let you do that boot, but you're not going to do it anymore. You talk the good game. Now bring your street game, because that's what I... And she's got her face... Uh, Nene has her head basically in Star's hair at this point. I've never seen it get this far. Star is looking straight ahead. <clears throat> um... And Nini is it, like if she were to turn her head, Nini's face would be like right there. She's just that close to her. I didn't know Nini carried on like this. This is really a disgrace. I just want to say that. I don't do it anymore. You talk the good game. Now bring your street. And then her head is doing that thing. And when she says uh, about the streets and stuff. <laughs> Nini talk about the streets. Here we go game because that's what and she's all up and it's like she's it's like her she's right there in her hair i'm bringing wow yeah where's barbara walters wow and then she went right back up to her head like to her hair again star knows she's there she can feel it hey. miss i'm so angry. okay what did donald trump say is security on set okay miss, okay he said okay now here, Nene won't let it go. I'm so educated. How educated are you on the street? And look at her. Now she is even closer than she has ever been to her hair. And and she's touching her body. Like Nene's, Nene is touching Star's, that side of her body. She's like right there. Star had to move her head down a little bit. It's so threatening. Okay. Miss, I'm so educated. How educated are you on the street? And she bumped into her. Bumped into her too. <laughs> yeah. Even Lil John, like, you know, reacted to that. I didn't know she bumped into her deliberately. She's doing all this stuff deliberately. There's Donald's daughter, and I like her. What's her name? And then her husband, which is... No, that's not her husband. No, that's Don... Okay, wait a minute. Let me get it right. That's his daughter and his son. I like her. I don't know a lot about him. But there they are. I imagine, I can only imagine what she's thinking. Like, wow. But they probably all are thinking the same thing, though. You know? And then that one man, he has his whole... He has his all of his fingers on his temple. It's nerve wracking. <clears throat> they probably don't know what's going to happen. You know, it's, it's like everything just changed. She didn't have to do all of that. At the start, she has her she has her hand on her side. Nini has her hand on her on her hip. She has that one hand on her hip, and it actually has been starting from the beginning. <clears throat> And start with her boot, all the stuff you've tried to do to manipulate the girls that are here. And I Lil John is like, wow. He's not saying it, but his body, you know, is saying like, wow. 
Let you do that, boo. But you're not gonna do it anymore. You talk the good game. Now bring your street game, because that's what I'm bringing. Now, where's Barbara Walters? Okay. Miss, I'm so educated. How educated are you on the street? <laughs> it's getting hot in here, man. You're a boring group of people right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so Donald was egging that on. Wonder, I want to see what his daughter has to say. Feeling much better about their chances at this juncture. <laughs> and, and so, yeah, and it was nice of her to say that. She's probably trying to, like, cool Absolutely. things down. Okay, as you know, the losing team, somebody will be fired. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. It's not over either. It's not even over. This is not the Atlanta Housewives. And I was bound and determined to show America the difference. And right, 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 Star Jones. TV host and author. Uh, yeah. The way an educated black woman handles stress and the way that someone who is not educated handles stress. How strategic game with me who the f you think you are don't you ever play me like that ever don't you ever you heard what I did. she's not through star is standing back on the wall with her arms folded haven't said one word to nini here nini goes again strategic game with me who the f you think you are don't you ever play me like that ever don't you ever you heard what i said she's don't walking approaching to her like stars trying to walk away from her there's security back there she's standing back there with security but you can put them out you can put them out what did you you can put them out oh that's not security is that security you're talking about women rationally talk to each other oh, really what really what I don't do this. I don't do threats. Uh oh, wait a minute. Like that, ever. Don't you wait a minute. Have that strategic game with me. Who the f you think you are? Don't you ever play me like that, ever. Don't you ever. You heard what I just said. Don't you ever play me like that. Don't you ever play me like that. Bring your street game. I don't do this. I don't do threats. I don't do yeah, threats. Yeah, but you can put them out. You can put them out. What are you You can put them out, right? Would you at least explain what you're talking about? Women rationally talk to each other. Oh, really? 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 What are you asking? Really? You when did you them? start caring about friendship? Yeah, when? When, would you when did you start caring about friendship? You when? Look how she's hovering over her. At least let me know what you're accusing me of. Shut the f up. Can you at least tell me that? Or are you just going to scream? Punk ass bitch. <laughs> So anyway, um, I don't know. What do y'all think about the dementia thing? Y'all think Donald Trump has dementia? Hmm? According to Fred, it's in his family history. Um, their grandfather, according to Fred, Fred Trump Sr. So he's named after his grandfather. Wow. And you know what that tells me? His father is Fred Trump Jr. And he's Fred Trump III. So, um, he spent his final years battling dementia. Okay. And a condition that he believes, Fred, <clears throat> believes may now be affecting Donald Trump. Um, they're saying something about his erratic behavior, but he's always been erratic like that. Um, including his obsession with, with crowd sizes. Um... You know, I don't know about that part of that. Uh, and trivial matters. Okay? That's what it says right here. It says that Donald Trump... Um, <clears throat> let me make sure I say this right. I don't know how quite know how to say this. <laughs> Who wrote this? 
Mm. I want to give credit to the person that wrote this because I want, want it to be noted that I'm only reading what somebody wrote here. And this is by, uh, it don't say who it's by. Okay? At least I don't see it up there. But anyway, um, it says here, Okay, it says here. The former president's erratic behavior. They're talking about Donald Trump. His erratic behavior. And I'm, I'm assuming including his obsession with crowd sizes. I didn't know he had that. Um, and other seemingly trivial matters. I didn't know he was obsessed with trivial matters and crowd sizes. I need to check into that. And apparently people are concerned about that. Um, and Fred's comments have only added fuel to the fire. It seems like to me that was done. It seems like to me that's that might be a setup. I didn't know he... <laughs> I didn't know Donald Trump was obsessed with crowd <laughs> with crowd sizes and trivial matters. I didn't know about that. I need to check into that. It, I mean, yeah, it has to be out there somewhere, right? Doesn't it have to be? I mean, all Star did was just ask her to be the project manager. We know what happened with that, right? See how that got blown way out of proportion. I think Nene left that show over that. Didn't she walk out? She walked out the next day, I think. Okay, let me see. Donald Trump obsession with crowd sizes. Whoops. I didn't know. I had never heard of that. That's my first time hearing about that. I didn't know anything about that. <laughs> I didn't know nothing about that. Okay, there's something here. <laughs> ah, uh, y'all, I'm just reading it. No, I mean I haven't read it. I, 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 I mean there's something here about. <laughs> there's something here about that. There's like oh, <laughs> there's an article after article about this. Wait a minute, the Washington Post. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know who knew about this. I didn't know nothing about this. I didn't even know anything about somebody could be obsessed with crowd sizes. I mean, that's new to me. Here's something three, uh, nine days ago, ten days ago. MSN. Well, that doesn't have anything to do with that. That's something else. That must be clickbait. I didn't know MSN had clickbait. Is that what they're doing now? Clickbait to get you to click over there? Uh, I don't even see that article. It's not there. Let me click on something else, y'all. I don't like MSN, no way. Not really. Let me click on this one. The Washington Post is 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 is, is uh, really um, you know <clears throat> kind of dependable. So it says here, Trump is obsessed with crowd size. Okay. So let's see. I just want to see about that. Let's see now. Um, okay. For years, Trump, right? They're talking about Donald Trump. For years, they're saying that Donald Trump, the GOP nominee for president, has been the one boasting about how many people he could pack into a venue. So it's about that. Okay. So, um, but then what is, it, what is it about these other trivial matters, though? So, yeah, but he can. I mean, you know, you can, I mean, as much money as he has. Yeah. Yeah. 
You can fill up those venues. Uh, Donald Trump obsession with trivial matters. I just want to know about that part. I didn't know anything about that part of that. Um, I mean, this seems trivial, but, you know, I mean, who am I? I don't know anything about that stuff. The different trivial matters. Okay, what does this say? Okay, I'm looking at that right now. That was six hours ago. Four days ago. Uh, so it sounds like that's something they just added on into that. So getting back to this, right? <clears throat> uh, so, but I don't see what the big deal is, you know? Okay, so they're also saying that uh, it's a poignant issue, okay, because of the family history. Fred, right? <clears throat> Fred the third. His grandfather is Fred Sr., and his father had to be Fred Jr., okay? The grandfather is deceased. The grandfather had dementia. Fred, the grandson, which is, uh, I believe, Donald Trump is his uncle, Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Nephew, yeah. Okay, he's he's been keeping a low profile, but now, at, like at this time, he has something to say about the dementia. Uh, what he's saying is that... Um, He's saying that other family members, including his cousin, Donald Trump's cousin, I'm assuming Donald Trump's cousin, uh, have also been diagnosed with dementia. Uh, he's, but Fred is not a medical professional, though. I just want to say that and insist that here. Um, acknowledge that his worries are rooted in personal observations, okay? So, uh, yeah, I guess he observed Trump, you know, filling up these venues, uh, becoming, pre <laughs> becoming president of the United States, right? And now the momentum is building again. Uh, he's been keeping a low profile, but now Fred got something to say about it. Um, he's a... So he's saying he has personal observations rather than a, than, than a formal diagnosis. However, he emphasized that the signs he sees in his uncle are reminiscent of what he witnessed in other family members who suffered from its debilitating condition. So they are really, really, you know, putting a lasso around this. Wow. Fred Trump the third, okay, what he had to say came came at a very a very critical time, you know. Donald Trump is preparing for another potential run for the <laughs> for the presidency. Do y'all think that's a coincidence? I don't think it is. I think Fred might be jealous. That's what I think. But that's just my opinion. Uh, the former president's mental. Acuity has been a subject of debate among political commentators and medical experts alike. Okay. Um, Trump appeared confused. Listen, anybody can be confused. And I'm not making excuses for him. I'm just saying. Um, made statements that didn't align with reality. Now, I would like to hear that. Um have only intensified, okay? I didn't know he did that. <clears throat> uh, according to this, the critics are saying that that's evidence of cognitive decline. Well, he's not young, but, you know, Biden isn't either. Didn't he become president? Uh, he's not going to run again. Um, I don't think. I mean, I don't know. Um... 
Trump supporters are saying that it's politically motivated attacks. Okay. Now, where do I stand on that? It appears that way to me. I mean, we saw how Nini attacked um, Star, right? <clears throat> because of her education. You know, because of her education. And um, to be attacked because of your education, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, they're saying that the implications of Fred Trump the third statements are significant. So, yeah. Wow. Why would he do that? The nation is inching closer to a 2024 election and Fred has that to say to that degree um, it could influence the public perception and potentially impact his campaign <laughs> they're saying it could impact his campaign I'm not laughing because of that I just don't think that's a coincidence I don't that's not a coincidence. I don't think I don't think it is. And I'm going to prove my point. I want to bring up what did Fred do? Okay. Let's see what did Fred do. And what is his name again? Fred Trump the third. Let's see what did he do. There he is, right there. And and Fred is short for Frederick Christ Trump the third. Okay, he's sixty one years old, and he's an American author, an advocate for people with disabilities. They have a picture of him here. Is that him? Is that Fred? I saw a picture of somebody. Oh, that's his son. No, that's him. Why did they pick that picture? That could that, might, that has to be the worst picture they could have ever picked. Um, oh no, that's his son. Okay, and, I, and they're saying was so that means he's no longer alive. I'm assuming. It says he was an American airplane pilot and maintenance worker. Okay, so that's Fred's um, father. Okay, so Fred's father was an American airplane pilot and maintenance worker. Um, now, I don't know if that's Donald's brother or if he married Donald's sister or what. <clears throat> but anyway, we already know what Donald Trump has accomplished, right? But so that's what he's done. He, he uh, was an author. And he's an advocate for people with disabilities. And that's all it says. And the nephew of former United States President Donald Trump. So, uh, what book did he write? He wrote a memoir titled All in the Family, The Trumps and How We Got This Way, which details his experience with his uncle Donald Trump. Wow. Wow. Y'all see the connection now? Wow. This didn't just happen. When was that written? And the family patriarch. Right? That would be the grandfather. Fred Trump Sr. He's named after the grandfather. Okay? He hopes the book will influence how people will vote in 2024. Wow. Wow. Isn't that interesting? I must say that again. He hopes the book will influence how people will vote in the 2024 United States presidential election. The book was just published last month, July 30th, 2024. Okay, so that's his biggest accomplishment. It just happened last month. What is he doing this month? I just told you. I don't think that's uh, that's a coincidence. I really don't. 
it seems like a setup to me. It really does. Um, I mean, the only thing he's the only other thing he's ever done is advocate for people with disabilities. He doesn't say anything about he's done anything else. Um, <clears throat> his father was a pilot, um, and and Fred Trump Sr. was a real estate developer. So we know where Donald Trump got that from, the grandfather. The whole real estate thing, he got that from the grandfather. His younger sister is a psychologist, okay? Meaning, um, Fred Trump III, so the sister is a psychologist, the younger sister is a psychologist, and he's hoping that his book will influence how people vote in the 2024 United States presidential election. Wow, that's the bombshell right there. What does this say right here? Okay, it says here that Fred used his connection to his uncle, Donald Trump, to meet with the Trump administration and the President's Committee for People with Intellectual Disabilities. Intellectual Disabilities. Now, this is someone that's calling Donald Trump, you know, like someone who's suffering with dementia. It's just weird Trump has never voted for Donald Trump. <clears throat> okay? I want, I want y'all to hear that part of that. He never voted for Donald Trump. What more do you need? He's never voted for Donald Trump. Do you think the book is trying to persuade and convince people to vote for Donald Trump? No. And now he's saying Donald Trump is, you know, all of this and that and all that publicly right now at this crucial time. And this is after he used his connection with President Trump when he was president to meet with the Trump administration and the President's Committee for People with Intellectual Disabilities. So you see how he got what he wanted? He got what he wanted out of that. And now it's time to smear. Smear. And the way it's being, you know, represented and stuff. I had a feeling it was a setup. And I was right. It's right here. He's never voted for Donald Trump. He voted for Hillary Clinton. <laughs> okay? Uh, and Joe Biden. Okay? He endorsed Kamala Harris. Okay? <laughs> I, and I ain't making fun of the Kamala Harris. I'm not. I'm just telling you. He endorsed Kamala Harris. Okay, so he's been busy, hasn't he? Hasn't he? They say he's been keeping a low profile, but has he? This is the bombshell. He's never voted for Donald Trump. He voted for Hillary Clinton in 2016. Voted for Joe Biden in 2020. He endorses Kamala, <laughs> Kamala Harris for 2024. And he's making allegations against Donald Trump. Okay? But yet, he used his connection to Donald Trump to meet with the Trump administration and the President's Committee for People with Intellectual Disabilities. It's just interesting. My uncle Donald Trump told me disabled Americans like my son 
should just die. Now, that, I'm just reading something right here. It says this right here. I'm going to end this because I don't want to stay on this anymore after I said that. So I don't know why he, I mean, that runs deep. That runs deep. Some he, I mean, that runs deep. That runs deep. Some they're gonna let me off of here. They're gonna let me off of here.